Episode 3 of American Horror Stories was titled Tapeworm, and it's safe to say that this one was utterly disgusting, and actually quite hard to watch at times. That scene in the bathtub, come on. Focusing on Vivian with her desire to fulfill her dream of becoming a model and getting on the cover of Vogue magazine, we saw her demise unfold in front of our very eyes. So with that, let's break down and explain the episode. So let's get into it. Here is American Horror Stories Season 3 Episode 3 Tapeworm Ending Explained. Just to let you know, this video will contain spoilers. So this episode was centered around Vivian's desire to get on the cover of Vogue for reasons that didn't only fulfill her ambition of becoming a professional model, but more so the highlighting of the fact that people with health conditions like herself, scoliosis, could still achieve their dreams and they didn't need to be held back because of them. This is why we saw such a kind-hearted, selfless individual at the start of the episode. Somebody who was the polar opposite to everybody at Sheila Klein's modeling agency. Vivian hadn't been corrupted by the industry and that kind nature was still present. Once Vivian went into the room, we saw that she was deemed to be too fat by Miss Klein, and it caused her dreams to end up crashing down to the ground. This led her to go to Dr. Lau, a doctor for the stars who essentially gave his patients something called Mondify, which meant that they could end up losing the weight that they wanted to lose in order to land the shoots. However, with Vivian blacking out after taking it and it being the sole reason that she was losing the weight and getting hired for the jobs, it meant that it wasn't responding well with her body and it was having a negative reaction. This was due to the heart murmur that she had. With her not wanting to give up losing the weight, the doctor gave her an alternative method, but it was one that came with a lot of responsibility, because if the rules were broken, then it would cause the demise of the individual. This was a tapeworm. The rules were essentially to not eat anything more than what one usually would, even though the desire to eat more would be there due to the tapeworm demanding to be fed. But within the space of literally arriving home, Vivian went all out and demolished the fridge after drinking a bottle of ranch dressing, we saw the tapeworm not only take over her feeling of hunger, but it literally transformed her into a monster. She lost all of her morals and became worse than the people that she had to walk past when the episode first opened. She was consumed by the job, by the industry, and she was also being consumed by the monster that was inside of her. She was no longer the gazelle, she was the hyena. Yes, she was losing weight, she was landing jobs, and she got that cover of Vogue. But the message that she wanted to spread and the type of person that she wanted to be whilst at the top was extremely different when she got there. There wasn't an ounce of who she was before when she landed that dream job. With her starting to lose so much weight to the point where she was losing jobs because she was so skinny, and also her relationships being compromised due to the worm bringing that jealousy and desire to be skinnier and prettier than everybody else around her, she seeked to find a way to get it out of her. Because Vivian hadn't followed the rules and consumed so much more food than what she originally would have done, it meant that the worm had got extremely large in size, and surgery wouldn't be possible due to the fact that it was all meshed around her. Plus, she couldn't be given a powerful medication because anything that was strong enough to kill the worm would probably cause Vivian to succumb to it too. So instead, she consumed something which would irritate the worm and cause it to look to leave at the nearest exit. And I think you know where that is. This was a scene that was disgusting to watch, and it felt horrific. As Vivian got in the bathtub, we saw the worm come out, and it tried to attack her, but she managed to stop it. However, when her guard was down, the worm got up and struck her in the eye, as she wouldn't let the worm go back inside of her, ultimately rendering her dead. Shortly after this, we saw that her roommate came back to the apartment to collect her belongings, and when she arrived, she saw that Vivian was lying there, but ultimately, she ended up getting attacked by the worm, as it then entered her, leading her to get a job as a model for Miss Klein's agency, showing that the cycle of the worm growing all-consuming was going to continue on another time round. I feel like the tapeworm was some kind of metaphor for how the industry is known to chew you up and spit you out, and also highlight the horrific conditions and lengths that some of the models put themselves through and go to in order to land the role that they want, even if it jeopardizes their health. The fact that Miss Klein knew that everybody was on Mondify and didn't care in the slightest was shocking, and it could be representative of people that are on that level in the industry. It was definitely an interesting and creative episode for sure. Overall review I thought this was actually a good episode. I think out of the first three episodes, Tapeworm is my favorite. I thought it had some different kinds of horror elements embedded within it when compared to the other ones, such as visual disgusting horror that we hadn't seen in any of the previous episodes. 
Seeing the worm, the fluids, even the vomit at points, it was all quite grim to look at on screen. I watched this whilst drinking a coffee, and I felt like I couldn't even take a sip when those scenes were playing out. It was just disgusting. I thought the pacing of the episode was really well done too, something which I feel let the other ones down slightly. There was a clear three-part structure that flowed so seamlessly into the other, and it allowed me to stay engaged but also want to know what was going to be happening next. Vivian was the center point of this episode, and the character quite literally carried the episode. There were some moments that I wasn't really a big fan of, and I thought the acting was a little bit meh, such as when she got out of the closet and went in on Heather. I thought the delivery of that was a little unconvincing, and I felt like I could almost read the words on the script and the direction. So it did make me cringe a little bit, but other than that, her range of emotions were very strong, and after the worm had started consuming her, it really did feel like a split personality so it was almost like she was playing two completely different characters, so I commend the actor for that. I thought this one definitely had a deeper meaning behind it, and it was focused on the modeling industry and what individuals go through in order to achieve their dreams, even if it can lead them astray, so that was clear to see, and it was a key takeaway. I thought seeing Vivian lose sight of herself and not become the role model that she always wanted to be was something which was great to include. She was all consumed by the monster until she ultimately became that, and she was something far worse than what she could have ever imagined. So I liked the direction of the story and the character. With only one episode to go in this season, I'm intrigued to see what the final episode is going to be like. I've heard a lot of bad things about it before going into it, and I've heard that it's the worst, but I'm not going to let that cloud my judgment. I'm feeling this one is probably going to be my favourite out of the four, but I guess we'll see after the final episode. That video will be coming very soon. I'll leave you with my current ranking. First place is Tapeworm, second is Bestie, and in last place it's Daphne. It was a shabby attempt at a Black Mirror episode, not American Horror Story, and that's all I'll say on that one. For more, check out the previous video. So, there you have it. American Horror Stories Season 3 Episode 3 Tapeworm Ending Explained If you want to see more videos such as Endings Explained, Theories and Predictions and Character Breakdowns, then click on the i button. Or alternatively, you can head over to my channel where you'll find them all. I've also broken down all of the previous episodes in Season 3, and also every episode from American Horror Story Delicate, so if you want that, it's over there too. And finally, if you'd like to see what I rate the latest movies that don't quite make the cut to getting a dedicated video, then head over to my Letterboxd profile. It's where I rate the latest releases in real time. What did you think of this episode? Leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.